Hello fellow synth fiends, and welcome to my latest video about the microcorg. Before I get started, I want to make sure that you have your microcorg correctly set up to use the vocoder function. You want to be looking at the audio in section. If you're using the provided gooseneck uh, microphone, which slots into this groove right here, you want to plug that into the eighth inch uh, input over here. If like me, you're using an external microphone, uh, your own microphone, I'm using a, a Shure SM48, which happens to be actually a dynamic microphone, then uh, you will plug it into the quarter inch input uh, over here. You have a volume control that allows you to set the gain uh, for your microphone. So as you dial in the gain for your microphone, either condenser or dynamic, you want to be watching the audio in one LED on the front panel. Um, and you want it to be mostly in the green. If it goes into the red, then that means that you're clipping the signal and that's not so good. Also, you want to set your uh, input switch here to mic because you're, you're using a microphone. Um, so that's the input section. I will recommend that you use headphones um, to really feel the full effect of the vocoder. Uh, sometimes if uh, you're just using speakers and the speakers are not very loud, then you're not really going to feel the effect of the vocoder because you're hearing uh, your voice uh, as much as the uh, vocoder effect. So that's pretty much my advice for setting up the microcorg to be used uh, as a vocoder. So let's dive in. So once you have your microphone set up with the microcorg, you want to turn the program select knob to the last section, named vocoder, labeled in green. You have 16 save locations using the A and B banks of the vocoder section. The first few patterns produce a sound immediately. The reason is that these patterns have uh, a formant waveform that is preset um, so you can get started immediately without having to introduce any sound through the microphone. So now would be a good time to describe what a vocoder actually is and how it does its thing. A vocoder is an effect that takes a modulator input, in this case that's my voice, it analyzes the qualities of my voice and imparts those qualities to a carrier signal. A carrier signal, for our purposes in this video, is the internal waveforms produced by oscillator one in the microcorg. To demonstrate this, I'm going to initialize the patch. And you'll see that a lot of the shortcuts, functions, and a lot of the parameters that uh, you know from the synth side of the microcorg, most of them also applied to the uh, vocoder side. So shift three and three again, and the patch is initialized. Let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> So it sounds like it's using a saw, a saw waveform. Um, I'm going to go through the different waveforms and see how uh, by changing the carrier signal from uh, oscillator one, how that changes uh, the vocoder effect. Square wave. Triangle wave. Sine wave. Hello, fellow synth fiends. The Vox wave. The uh, digital waves from the D 
DW Korg series. Just like with the synth section, you can you do have some control over the waveforms using uh, the second and third knobs, which are control one and control two. Um, so let's see how that works with each of the waveforms. The effects changing control one and control two are quite uh, different per waveform. <laughs> Square wave. Triangle wave. the digital waveform and I believe that only one of the control knobs works basically changing uh, the different waveforms that are available so yes control 2 also have several options beyond those waveforms. You have noise. Hello, hello. So this is just an audio in, I believe. Uh, let's see. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. And there we go. So those are all of the available waveforms that are possible or carrier signals that are possible by using oscillator one. Now you will see that with the labeling you have white labels that refer to the synth engine uh, of the microcorg and then you have the green labels that uh, refer to the vocoder engine of the microcorg. Both share many functionalities but I still want to go through each of the sections. So today I'm going to have a look at uh, the voice section, the pitch section and oscillator one section. So yeah, oscillator one being the carrier signal that my voice, the modulator, will be affecting. So in the voice section, uh, things stay pretty similar. You first knob allows you to decide whether you want this to be a synth program or a vocoder program. The second knob does not give you any options because it's to do with the layer assign, which is not available in the vocoder section. Uh, the third knob is voice assign and you have two options. You can either have polyphony or unison. If you selected unison mode, then you can uh, you have uh, trigger mode options. And again, if you selected unison mode, you have a unison detune that is available, just like with the synth section. And I'll show you what th that sounds like. So that is the voice section. In the pitch section, things stay similar again. First knob gives you plus 24, minus 24 of uh, transposition. Second knob uh, gives you a fine tune over the pitch, plus 50, minus 50. And I want to say that that operates within one semitone. Third knob uh, is for portamento. Ben range is the fourth knob, going from minus 12 
all the way to plus 12. And the fifth knob is for vibrato intensity. So thank you so much for watching. So for the next video, I'd like to go more in depth into the next section, which is audio in one, very important for the vocoder engine. There are several controls there that uh, will allow you to fine tune how the vocoder effect uh, responds to the modulator signal, which in this case is my voice. So until next time, thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe.